I want to talk about circles. Circles are fun. Okay, so what I want you to do, first of all, is discuss what we already know about coordinate systems. So, yes, they are right handed. And how many types do we have? Three. Cartesian. Let's write them in terms of vectors. Spherical and cylindrical. There is also another one which only has two dimensions when we look at it. And it is called a polar system that only has R and phi. On your papers, the, the little circles I gave you, I want you to fold these circles into two, like that. And then I want you to fold it over again, like that. So you should have tiny square. Okay, then I want you to open them and I want you to draw your normal axes on them. So they should look something like this. Okay, now what I want you to do is put it on your coordinate system. Okay, flat on your coordinate system. What plane does it exist in? So let's do X, Y on the, on, the, on the table so we're all on the same page. Good. What plane does it exist in? X and Y, correct? In order to define it in the X, Y coordinate plane, it is actually quite difficult. So instead, in order for this to survive as a circle, in your Cartesian coordinates that you have come up with, we have to come up with a more simple way of defining the circle. So what we do is instead of defining the circle in your X and Y plane, we change it to what we were calling the polar plane. Since it only has two dimensions, almost close, Amanda, but not quite. But think about it, right? If it exists on your plane, we have to be able to explain it in that XY plane. And mathematically, that becomes difficult. So physicists and mathematicians came up with another way of defining it, which is now going to be called R and phi. OK, so what do you think R stands for? The radius. The radius, correct? And then phi defines if I take my, take your pencil with you, hold it up. If I have to make a circle with this pencil in air, how would you do it? You rotate it by what angle? 360 degrees, right? That is difficult to do. And always like, you're like, oh, 360, 360, blah, blah, blah. So what they did was they came up with this new scheme of calling it, two pi radians. So every time you go around 360 degrees, you go two pi radians. Got it? Now the problem is you always don't always go around in a circle. Sometimes you don't go half a circle. Sometimes you only do quarter of a circle. Sometimes you only do 20 degrees. What do you do in that case? You define another variable that guess what they decide to call it? Fine, got it? So now I want you to draw a radius, pick a radius, any point on your circle, not the four lines that you have, draw a, a point on the corner and draw a line from that corner to the circle. Now put this circle on your three-dimensional space. That point that you drew, Will it have X and Y points along it? It does. It absolutely will, correct? 
Okay, so now you have just converted your X and Y coordinates into another definition, which is going to be R and phi. Got it? And R is your radius of your circle. This is how we convert one system to another. Okay. Let me just finish this real quick. I want to, because uh, I want to give you guys enough time to do the quiz. Yeah, I feel really smart right now. Yes, my mission is done. I am very excited about hearing this. Okay, so this is what you will see being drawn in most textbooks. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just drawing it. I will come go back. It's okay. We will talk more. I promise we will do these calculations next time with the worksheet. So just yeah, well, I'm I'm going back to that. I just wanted to make sure I drew it properly. Is that an R for? Yes, it's always R. I just want to draw these and I promise we will do these next Tuesday. We will revise them. And the limits are zero to R. For the polar angle, the limits are zero to pi. And for the azimuthal angle, the limits are zero to two. Brackets, what do they represent? Ranges, min to max, yes? And so some, sometimes people also write them as this. It just takes too much effort, right? You've, you may have seen that written. You've seen them both ways. I just do brackets because it's easier for me. Yeah. Okay, last one. And I promise we will go over this again. And in this case, our range will be from zero to R. Pi is again always zero to two pi. And Z will range from zero to maximum of 